But if you're at the end of this sermon and you're thinking, you know, salvation sounds really easy. Salvation sounds really easy and really simple. Well, you're right. That means that you've understood the sermon. Because if you listen to this sermon and you're thinking, hi, uh, you know, salvation it just seems so hard, I think you've missed the point somewhere along the way. Salvation is very easy. I mean, how hard is it to receive a gift? The gift of God. Very easy, isn't it? How hard is it to be born? You know, Jesus said, you must be born again. How much work did we do to be born? Our mother did a lot of work, and the ladies in here that have had children can testify to that. They did a lot of work for that baby to be born. But how much work did the baby do? The baby did no work. The baby was just born. It's, it's a gift of life that was given uh, by God. You know, how easy is it to eat a piece of bread? Jesus said, I am the bread of life. How easy is it to drink a glass of water? The Bible says, let him that is a thirst uh, come and take of the water of life freely. Um, or how easy is it to walk through a door? You know, Jesus said, I am the door. He that entereth in by me shall be saved. So salvation is easy. You know, salvation is very easy. And why is salvation so easy? Because Jesus did the hard part. Jesus paid it all. Jesus did the hard part. That's why it's so easy. You know, a lot of people will call, you know, believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and not needing works, they'll say that it's easy believism or it's, they'll say it's cheap grace. But cheap grace is an oxymoron because grace is free. We don't believe in cheap grace. We believe in free grace. And why is the gift of God free? It's because Jesus paid it all. Jesus did the hard part so that all we have to do is receive that grace. 